this was my first time seeing the mural and my reaction was that of awe and just the magnitude of it and the different characters within it and it was really interesting to see the reactions from the students it varied from boy i wonder if it rained when she was building it how long did it take those very basic questions to i wonder what that ribbon means or all those kind of things that form the basis of continuing the study with the mural. So it was good to see their initial reactions and what their questions brought. I like how the ribbon like connects everyone. The mural is a very color, very colorful piece of art. I like that a lot. To an artist, vision is essential. Not the ability to see with the eye, but the act of imagination. An artist's vision is what they imagine a work of art should look like. However, in order to attain vision, an artist needs inspiration, an inner compulsion that influences the creative process. Just imagine starting with a large blank wall on the side of a building and painting the story of a city you've never lived in and know little about. Sometimes, sources of inspiration can be found with the help of others. When I, when I do a work, everything you see in the mural will come from the site. Then it is a process of, uh, I would say first, getting information and ideas, and second, translating this information and ideas into a single visual image that is appropriate to its environment and site and meaningful. I think the way she put together the past, the present, and then the vision out to the future was phenomenal. I think she did an excellent job. The story of Omaha is dynamic. It brims with a pioneering energy for the multitudes that have called it home. In order for Seligman's vision for the mural to be relevant, she had to capture this complexity. Extensive research and community input uncovered several recurring themes, such as depth, abundance, inventiveness, convergence, and space. In this process, you can really tell a good idea when it, it keeps having other layers of meaning that you might not have necessarily thought for, like fertile ground. Oh, well, it's the ground where uh, crops can grow, or it's the, the depth of the community, or oh, you know, in the fertile ground, the prairie grass, the roots happen to be longer than the plant, which is a lot like the people here. So those words seem to have meaning on a, multiple levels. I think most of the photos that were used uh, were iconic Omaha. There was a, there's one particular gentleman leaning up against the Trans-Mississippi Arch that I was for sure was um, Thomas Kimball, who was a very famous architect here in Omaha. And so I was very shocked when it, was, it said it was just a, a, a personification of business and the importance of business in Omaha. And I was like, oh, I thought that was Thomas Kimball. Mm -hmm. um, so that was one thing that I, I was for sure was right and it was wrong. He's Ralph. Ralph? He was a young businessman. That was actually the, I had a different figure in there in my original design of it. The foundation noticed that the business, the young businessman was not represented and is a segment of the population that they had wanted. You know, the scale and the scope of the mural had, a, had everything to do with what we were trying to represent as a public art project. And through the Peter Kiewit Foundation, we were given the mandate to examine and look at what it would take to create the most iconic piece of public art in the city. It's a very thorough, documented process. I mean, I'm charged with helping people have a voice. It's a serious job. What could all these things mean? Why are they all in one image? Some people will walk up to the mural and say, oh, you know, wow, that is so Cool. I love the oh wow, I love the slight alteration in someone's daily path. Like he was definitely gazing off that way. Yeah. And now yeah. I got him a little bit when I'm right here. <laughs> or, or the historian may go up and pick apart all the pieces of history. We want to chuck it full with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think that one's got to be a, a tower from Creighton, one of the newer buildings so that different people can enjoy it however they would want to and get from it what they w will. 
Seligman's research helped establish a multi-layered vision for the mural, a vision that not only depicted the rich history of Omaha, but where the city is today and its dreams for the future. Inspired by a quote from frontier author Willa Cather, Seligman utilized a vast sky to represent the area's wide open spaces. Cather wrote, Elsewhere the sky is the roof of the world, but here the earth is the floor of the sky. Prairie grass with its deep running roots represents the community's origins and their depth of character, while a bur oak represents the strength and adaptability of its people. Fertile ground is a two-dimensional image, but the story it tells is multifaceted. You'll notice that in some of the murals that appear on the East Coast, the compositions tend to be a little bit more crowded. Um, some of them are a you know, little wild, perhaps, or uh, but the compositions are chocked full. They're like brimming off the wall. And when I was designing Fertile Ground here in Omaha, huge recurring theme was space. So this mural is an intentionally designed with air, space, room for people to navigate as people describe. I love that she had so much space and so much sky because that's, that's where we are and that's, um, you know, a huge advantage to living in Nebraska. The sky sort of seeps into the actual sky the way that it is right now and it's, it, it's really cool. Actually, I remember the, d the day that Meg showed me the first maquette or, or drawing for the, for the mural. My first impression was that it was fantastic design. And then when I started seeing the individual parts of it and the thought that she had put into it, um, I was able to say things like, you know, if you're going to have a tree be such an important part of this in Roots, you might want to talk to somebody at Lurts and Gardens about what kind of trees grow in this part of the country naturally and not um, ornamentally or, or trees that we've brought in recently. Um, we photographed lots of uh, bur oaks because we thought this tree might be a good symbol for the strength of the community. So I was really happy with her design from the first minute I saw it and um, it's even better up on the wall. I think it's a great thing for the city. I think the process was a great thing for the city. The fact that it tells a story about the city of Omaha and that can be used as a, uh, as a lesson for kids um, is, is a wonderful thing. So its impact will be far greater than just a painting on the wall. The emotional impact that the mural has as you move through it, as you, as you examine it, as you get closer to it and you start seeing the characters, you start seeing the faces, you start seeing the objects that are represented um, because of the history of the city, you start really understanding the sort of meaningfulness of what um, and the sensitivity of her selections in being able to make a broad statement about who we are as a city but to also focus on the sort of individual stories of each of the characters and I think that was a significant, that was a major accomplishment that Meg was able to demonstrate in the mural.